வெல்கம் டு இயர் சில்ட்ரன் திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் சோசியல் சயின்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் ஜாக்ரஃபி லெசன் வீ ஹவ் லேண்ட் அபவுட் செலஸ்டியல் பாடிஸ் பிளானட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்பியர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த இயர்த் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேண்ட் அபவுட் செவன் கான்டினென்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஓசன்ஸ் வி லேண்ட் வாட் இஸ் லித்தோ ஸ்பியர் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் லெசன் லித்தோ மீன்ஸ் அ ராக் இஸ் இன் இட் The lithosphere is made up of seven large land masses known as continents. Once upon a time, the earth was fully covered with water and in the water there is a part of land which is known as Banjia and the watery area known as Bandalasa. The land area name is called Banjia, the watery area name is called Banjia. Bandalasa but at present the land area is called continent water area is called ocean it was 200 million years ago when this land masses moved away from each other to gain the present position as continents and oceans how did the land masses move children it is nothing other than the internal heat of the earth children now we are going to see about this lesson it deals about the continents and oceans in detail the earth is covered by 71% of water 29% of land of the earth surface The surface of the earth is not even because it has lofty mountains, deep oceans and other landforms. These landforms can be classified as first order, second order, third order. First order consists of continents and oceans. Second order mountains and plateaus. Third order valleys beaches sand dunes now let us see about first order landform continents and oceans are grouped as first order landform the vast land masses on earth are called continents and huge water bodies are called oceans there are seven continents you all know that they are asia africa north america south america antarctica europe australia the asia is the largest continent and australia is the smallest continent land classification sangam period already you know that kurunji mullai marudam neidal palai kurunji mountain area mullai forest area marudam agriculture land area neidal sea area palai desert area apart from continents there are five oceans located on the earth surface they are the pacific atlantic indian southern ocean and arctic ocean Among these oceans the Pacific Ocean is the largest and Antarctic Ocean is the smallest. Now we are going to see about 
second order land forms the second order land forms are categorized as mountains plateaus and plains first mountains a land form that rises 600 meters above its surrounding and has a steep slopes is called a mountain if the mountains extend far a larger area continuously it is called a mountain range this ranges stretch for hundreds and thousands of kilometer for example the himalayas of asia the rocky mountains of north america the andes of south america are such examples the andes mountain in south america is the longest mountain range in the world totally 7000 km the highest point of a mountain is known as peak the highest point the last point name is called the mountain last point name is called peak mount everest is the highest peak mount everest is the highest peak in the world 8848 meter which country is mount everest located in nepal mountains are the sources of rivers they provide shelter to flora fauna here tourism is an important activity during summer people go to mountain region to enjoy the pleasing cool weather udagamandalam kodaikanal kolli hills yerkadu elagiri are some of the hill station found in tamil nadu what's the meaning flora flora means the plants of a particular region and fauna means the animals of a particular region next plateaus in india chota nagpur plateau is so one of the mineral rich plateau deccan plateau deccan plateau in the peninsula india is a volcanic origin plateaus are elevated portions of the air that have flat surface bounded by steep slope the elevations of plateaus may be a few hundred meters or several thousand meter tibetan plateaus is the highest plateau in the world so it is called the roof of the world the flat top part of the plateaus is called table land but the mountain highest point name is called peak the plateaus are generally rich in minerals the chota nagpur plateau is one of the mineral rich plateaus in india therefore mining is one of the major activities of the people living here the deccan plateau is in peninsula india is of volcanic origin dharmapuri plateau koyambatur plateau and madurai plateau are found in tamil nadu next we are going to see about plains plains are nothing plains are a flat and relatively low lying lands plains are usually less than 200 meters above sea level sometimes they may be rolling or undulating most plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries and distributaries what's the meaning tributaries a river flowing into largest river or lake these plains are used extensively for agriculture due to the availability of water and fertile soil they are most suitable for human inhabitation hence they are the highly populated regions of the world the oldest civilizations like mesopotamian and the indus civilization developed in river plains the indo gangetic plains in north india is a one of the largest plain in the world the plains formed by river kaveri and vaigai are important plains found in tamil nadu thank you dear children stay home stay safe